Hi again. So, um, I am doing an update on some of the cups that gave me problems when I originally tried them out. Uh, and that is the case with the Lily Cup Compact. Um, and this is the smaller of the two sizes that they offer. And I'm going to be connecting this video or linking this video to the main video when I had originally made my um, Lily Cup Compact. Uh, information and review. So over the last three cycles I was determined to get some of these softer cups to work for me and the problem that I had with some of these softer cups was that they would open like uh, completely like this but uh, they stayed smashed inside of me. So um, after reading online some forums and also Facebook groups, people that had problems with softer cups said that they had to let the cup open up lower inside of their vaginal canal. So I went uh, and tried to find that sweet spot during the, the three um, different cycles that I had uh, that I was re revisiting these cups. And um, it took a while to find that sweet spot and it uh, I only had to find it once uh, for all of the cups but what I found was if I had inserted it and I couldn't uh, sorry let me back up I couldn't use my regular punch down fold I can never use my regular punch down fold with these softer cups uh, I just went for the real easy simple UC fold and um, I the first try I inserted it and I tried to let it open right away as soon as I inserted it and I had a, have some pain from the the rim opening so close to the uh, opening of my vagina so I took it back out and I tried again and I must have um, placed it too high up because it again it would open this way but it would stay smashed so those were not my Goldilocks uh, opening spots for these cups so then again I, I tried and I was able to position it and I think it's like right between those two two spots or those two areas so not too low and not too high but uh, just right uh, between those and I could feel it pop open and I was very surprised uh, I didn't have any pain and it popped open really easy I didn't have to coax it at all uh, and when I had got it to open I let my finger follow the cup and uh, kind of as soon as it popped open um, I would just uh, push down on that rim and push it into place and while I was pushing it into place my cups always spin at the same time so I spun it and I got it right around my cervix and because the Lily Cup Compact it has such a small diameter rim here I did have um, some problems a couple times trying to get it my cervix to be right in there and I don't normally have a big problem with that when I insert a cup usually it's like right in place right where it needs to be but um, with the Lily Cup Compact because of that diameter uh, small diameter I did have my cervix sitting at the edge a couple times and I did have to pull it back a little bit to reposition it but after I found that sweet spot I knew exactly where I could allow the soft cup to open up and then push it into into place removing it uh, again I didn't have any problems <clears throat> uh, I did try to put, use the stem just to see if it would give a nice grip and I could pull the cup down some and that was fine uh, but I usually bypass the stems altogether and just uh, aim for the base of the cup but the stem was really good I, I mean I could pull it down just enough to grab the base of the stem so it was a really uh, good experience after I found that sweet spot I didn't leak however I was or I only tested tested it at the very beginning and the very ending of my cycle because this is a lower capacity cup. Um, I, I still am going to de-stash it uh, in the near future, not just yet. 
Uh, you'll have to friend me on Facebook if you're looking for my D stashes. Maybe I'll post them here, but um, uh, <clears throat> I'm not ready to yet, so don't leave me a whole bunch of requests for it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to keep it, only because uh, I like the Juju cup on my lighter days, um, and that it, it was just an easy cup for me. I didn't have to fumble with it. I don't have to worry about placing it in my Goldilocks place for it to actually open. Uh, so for me, I would I would just go with a cup that I didn't have to um, mess with extra just to get it to open or in place. Um, also, I only empty my cup uh, twice a day, and that is in the very early morning when I wake up, and then also right before I go to bed. So having it being compact uh, or being collapsible so that you could carry it around is kind of not, you know, logically, I wouldn't really be carrying a cup. If I was carrying it, I would be carrying it inside of me. Then I don't really have to have it in my pocket or my bag. Um, I have carried uh, a cup and a liner with me in a little tiny wet bag. Um, and that was because my period was supposed to come, but it didn't. And I didn't really want to use my cup every day for five days. Um, and then not even uh, start my period. So I did carry my cup at that time. But honestly, I wouldn't uh, normally be carrying my compact cup around. So it's still a really, really nicely made cup. They finished off all the seams really nice. Um, and the silicone is awesome. I love the feel of this silicone. Uh, so the quality is surely there. Um, great cup regardless, uh, but uh, sadly I will still be de stashing it in the future. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, personal reviews, or cup versus cup comparisons, please check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.